Briggs set up a search plan order. A sergeant and three cars for each district. It's bad news. I only want to deliver it once. You know what I mean? Okay, good, Karaji. Found me. Janice, Janice, just, just listen to me for a minute, okay? Please. Why don't you just go, huh? I mean, I'll stay here as long as you want. Just leave Michael here with me and go. I won't tell anybody that I saw the two of you together. You can't know what it's like. You can't understand having a baby, never seeing it, sitting in a concrete box for six years wondering about it. I wasn't planning on taking him. That's not what I was intending on doing. I just wanted to see him, to touch him, to hold him. But then I did. That beautiful little thing that came from me. Nothing beautiful ever came from me. I got to watch him grow. He's mine. I got that right. Shush that thing, it'll wake Ethan. Janice. Janice, listen. Do you really want to take him away from the people who care about him, that can love him? And to go where, huh? On the run? Janice, you're going to be a criminal, a fugitive, running around dragging the evidence behind you. Is that what you want to do? I love him, too. Uh, my boyfriend says that we can dye his hair and stuff. Nobody will ever recognize him. Hey, Michael. Hey, little man, how you doing? What's up, man? Huh? Ethan, come here to your mama. My name's Michael. He knows my name's Michael. That's right, man. Your name is Michael. Michael DeRusco, right? Yeah. Huh? She you know, my name's Ethan. Come on. Michael. She said she's my mom. I am your mommy. <laughs> and your name's Ethan. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop it, Janice. He's not Ethan. He's Michael. Michael Daruska. There's nothing you can do about that. You, you can dye his hair. You can lock him in a room. You can take him away. He'll still be Michael. Michael Daruska. You can't change that. I am your mama. You hear me? I am your mama. No, you're not. No, you're not. Janice. Janice, for God's sake, don't do this to him. Think about him. Think about him. Think about tomorrow, the next day. You can't give him what he's already got, Janice. You know that. Think about him. Stop thinking about yourself. You're just being selfish. Don't you badmouth me. Don't you go badmouth me. No, no, Janice. Me. Janice, you wait till no, Ike no, gets here. No, Ike won't no. let you go badmouth me. You wait. Janice. Janice, please, just listen to me. Look, shut up. Shut up. Or I'm going to shoot you. Dingy Broad? Who are you calling a dingy broad? Listen, if you got a problem, you take it up with your watch commander. He's the one who approved the search plan. So I don't care how long it takes to find her, alive or not, it's going to be over my dead body that anybody withdraws the search order. What did you say? Sh shut up a minute, Cherkov. i got to call you back. Hi, Mr. Perry. I'm sorry, Officer Karazzi, but I couldn't wait any longer. I get a call saying they found Charlene's car, but nobody wants to say anything about her. I, I had been transferred from one person to another, and finally I get some guy named Martinelli, and he tells me I ought to call you. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Yeah. Look, we've got every available car in Area 3 out looking for her now, but we think that she got carjacked last night. Well, where is she? Someone must have heard her. That's why you're looking for her. Someone must have heard her. We're gonna find her. Why do I keep doing this, man? Why do I keep doing this? She never should have been out there in the first place. It's my fault, my temper. It's okay, Mr. Perry. Come on, it's gonna be all right. I've just been acting crazy. Ever since I started realizing I was too old. Too old for what? For the show. NBA, the Bulls, the Celtics, the Lakers. I never made it. I was always this close. Just like everything else in my life. And then I, I, I mess up. Charlene was the best thing that ever happened to me, and now I messed that up too. Hey, Mr. Perry, you have to ease up on yourself a little bit. All you did was love her too much. 
You know, I, you just got jealous. Nobody can help that sometimes. So what do I do now? Go home. I will let you know something the minute I know something. I promise. Karatik. Oh my God. Charlene? My guy, let me have the paperwork. Your watch commander will create a bond on him, so it's my responsibility. Come on, Arthur. I'm going home. Hello? Mom! What? It's for you. Hello? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Well, is, is he all right? Is he hurt or anything? He's fine, Mrs. Momosian. No, you don't have to come get him. I'll bring him home. About an hour and a half, maybe two hours. You're very welcome. I'm happy too. Bye-bye. Can I use your locker room? Come on, Arthur. Get you showered up. Hello. Yeah, honey, we're ready. Y'all just come by and honk the horn. No. Uh, no. You don't need to come up. I can handle it all myself. Okay. Bye. I just saved your life. Yeah. Now let me save yours, Janice. Yours and the boys. Violation of parole. Aggravated assault, kidnapping, unlawful restraint of a police officer. Janice, they ain't gonna never stop looking for you. This could be the biggest mistake you ever made. Nah. The biggest mistake I ever made was giving up my baby in the first place. No, Janice. Believe me. This is. For you and the boy. This is. Goes up a few cases today, huh? There are those who would say 28 was a few. Mm -hmm. Make that 32. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Good day today, huh? I guess Connie and Sandowski closed up theirs, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow at church. If I'm still alive. Carlos, listen to me. Take my advice. Give in. Lieutenant. Bobby hasn't come back yet? Back from where? Been trying to locate him all day. You know where he is? We got an address on Michael Drushka's birth mother. He went to see her. Did you get a number too? I didn't, but I can get it from a parole officer. I like your new home. It's real pretty there. There's mountains and trees and a river you can swim in. Do you even know how to swim? My mom taught me how to swim. Well, I'll teach you better. Teach you to ride a horse, too. I'll get you a horse. Your own horse. You'd like that, wouldn't you? No. I want to go home. I want to go home. Listen to him. Listen to him, Janice. We're going home, honey. That's where we're going. Janice! Janice, think about what you're doing. <laughs> Don't do this to him. Janice. Janice, 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 Janice! 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 
Daddy. Mom, Daddy's home. Danny. Sarah. I, I, I got lost. I think. Yes, you did. You got lost. But now you're home and you're safe and it's okay. I was very frightened. They put me in jail. I told them I didn't do anything wrong. You might want to give him some food. He told me he's pretty hungry. Oh, thank you so much. Roger, your daddy is home, honey. Roger, Roger. Why'd you have to go and find him? We'd all be better off if he was dead. Roger, that's your dad you're talking about. It's not my dad in there. It's just his body with some awful disease living inside it. My real father's already dead. Hey, man. I don't know what to do with him. He misses his father so very much. Hey, you had a father, so did Arthur. Roger's getting cheated, and he's hurting. So am I. So help him. I can't replace Arthur. No, you can't, but I think there's a lot you can both do to help each other. You know what I mean? back to his mama. You ain't Ethan. You're Michael. Michael, Michael, go get the phone, man. Go answer the phone. Pick up the phone, man. Bobby. Come on, get back and let him work. I ain't leaving the man since my wife. Sergeant! That's it, we see Christmas. Oh, you don't want a guy with my duty off his face, huh? Yeah, well, I can't believe he eats with them up. Well, let me tell you something. You and this lady got a lot in common. What do you mean? Well, if you weren't so stubborn about that search plan, she'd have been dead before we found her. And if she wasn't so stubborn about staying alive, she'd have been dead hours ago. Where was she? Behind a dumpster in an alley, about a block away from that robbery last night. How bad is that? She took one in the neck, left the next one in the back. Took another one in the chest, it's still there. It's hard to say what got torn up inside. She lost a lot of blood. Well, hey, thanks, investigator. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. I, I hope she's gonna be okay. Daddy doesn't think the bullets hit anything vital. He's pretty sure she's gonna be okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You brought her back to me and she's gonna be fine. You're welcome. Good luck. <laughs> 